Good morning everyone, welcome to today's video. We are here at Disney's All Star Music Resort. Today we are going off property and I keep glancing that way because River's at the fountain. Um, we're going for breakfast at IHOP. Now the annoying thing is IHOP is literally less than a mile in that direction from All Star Music. But to get there, because Disney don't like you going off property, they want you to stay on site as a captive audience, they make you go all the way up to the Magic Kingdom and the TTC um, ticket transportation centre to get the bus back down so we're literally going like miles out of our way to come back on the local Lynx bus to get to the IHOP now there's one just over there we're going to go to a different one actually because that one will be two buses from TTC whereas there's another one that's one bus we'll go to that one we have a couple of options to get up to the TTC it looks like in Magic Kingdom there's already people waiting for a bus and two scooters already so we've come to the Epcot bus stop where there's nobody waiting and we'll go to Epcot and get the monorail up and the kids will enjoy that. Well that's annoying. They closed the monorail. There's literally, there was a monorail literally in the station up there as we were walking through. And they put signs up saying it's closed. Now we've got to get a bus up to the TTC. I don't think we're ever going to get to IHOP at this rate. So it's this one. Monorail replacement bus. The Trans Ticket Centre. The bus says Epcot monorail on the front. There are two monorail trains on the beam, two one in the station and one just outside the station. Um, so it looks like they were running. So maybe there's an issue with the monorail, I don't know. Anyway, we're on the monorail replacement bus, going to the TTC to get our bus going literally exactly back down this road the way we came to get off property. They really don't make it easy. Well, this is the TTC and uh, I wasn't planning on coming here on this trip. There's Monorail Yellow, which was down by Epcot and is now going back down to Epcot. So something's going on there, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, there it is. On the Epcot loop. So something's going on. Anyway, we're at the bus stop now for Link 56, which is the local Orlando bus that will take us out and down to IHOP, hopefully. The Lynx bus that was supposed to come 10 minutes ago hasn't turned out. One's just coming through, it said 56, but apparently it's not going the right way, so I guess it's going up to Disney University to come back. This is too stressful, I don't know why we're bothering. The Lynx bus is not running a very good timetable, doesn't help. Or having a timetable, but completely ignoring it. Which I suppose is true of most bus companies, isn't it? Especially in the UK, but it's just frustrating. All we wanted to do was go for breakfast. By the time we get there, it'll be gone lunchtime. We made it onto the Lynx bus. Two hours from leaving our hotel room. An hour of which was spent sat in direct sunlight in the TTC. I find the TTC is kind of neglected by Disney. The bins are overflowing, there's no shade, there's barely any benches. It's just kind of, they have it here as a necessity but don't like to, I don't know, they ignore it and it, it kind of gives a bad impression. Especially when this is some people's first you know, experience of Disney World coming into the TTC. And we are off the Lynx bus. I don't miss doing it. We, a couple of times we've come, we've stayed off property and we've had to use the Lynx buses to get to Disney every time if there hasn't been a hotel shuttle. They don't turn up on time and they're just so stressful. That one, someone pulled the cord to ring the bell for the stop and it just sailed past the stop they wanted. Uh, luckily it stopped where we wanted to. We've now got to get over there, right across this road, and we're going to go to that IHOP over there. Probably more trouble than it's worth, isn't it? It's best to be the best breakfast ever. Where's the mouth? It's got chocolate chips, but where's the mouth? Look. So can we eat it now? Maybe it doesn't really know what to make of it. We do like coming to IHOP. It's one of the things, when we come to America, we always try to get to an IHOP. Um, because the breakfasts are really yummy. So we did that. The kids didn't really eat any of theirs. River ate most of their pancake. Robin ate everything except their pancake. Could have got a meal between them. Never mind. Um, we're now going to a tacky gift shop while we're off property. Because tacky gift shops are fun. We wanted to go the other IHOP down near that's actually closer to where we're staying, but harder to get to. Um, it's got the famous mermaid tacky gift shop. But it's too much effort. We'd have to get another bus from here and then two buses back to get into Disney World. So we're just going to go to the one that's over here. But we like a tacky gift shop. So we're going to see what we can find in there. 
and then we'll probably pop over to Publix um, just to pick up some more groceries and things that we need. So many t-shirts, so many things to look at. I quite like that one. What the stitch? Rainbow stitch, goes with your shirt. I've got a hoodie that I was looking at, which is um, just a nice sort of, just a nice hoodie. It's got an imperfection on it, so, so I might see if I will knock it down. And a fridge magnet for a, as a gift for someone. Megan's looking at pins. I hope you're enjoying our um, off-property adventure so far. Megan's not. She's stressed. We're going to go in Publix first and then we're going to head back over to Disney. We're going to Disney Springs. Yeah. Got to wait for the 56 again and hope it turns up. And that will take us back up to um, the TTC and then we're going to try and get the monorail I think because we want to go on the monorail. We're getting some watermelon and some grapes. We need some fruit in our lives because chips and nugs are Lovely, but not all the time. Maybe I get some juice. Problem is being in here is I'm gonna want everything. Hard Mountain Dew. Alcoholic Mountain Dew, but it's sugar free. I don't know, I don't know. Pop-Tarts. Let's get some Pop-Tarts. Getting some, getting some great Pop-Tarts. I'll take them home. Corn Pop. I haven't seen them for years. Yeah, but they're corn pops. Just golden nuggets. They're not just golden nuggets, they're corn pops. I found the UK section. I'm just going to look at the UK section in Epcot. What the hell is that? Violet crumb. Oh, that's Australian. What's in the British section? Coffee crisp. I know toffee crisp, but I don't know coffee crisp. That's not a UK. But there is some cool looking stuff here. Stuff we get at home, but some cool looking stuff that we don't get too. Beer, Powerade, all the drinks, biscuits and things. I like coming in American supermarkets or anywhere I go on holiday, I like going in the supermarkets because there's everything that looks kind of familiar but kind of not and it's all slightly off but still lots of fun and you can discover lots of new things like all these different Oreos. This is the beer aisle. I'm glad we drink quite a lot of this. And snacks down here as well. We've got Pringles. Reagan's looking for a very specific crisps. These ones, Takis, that's the one she likes. $3.99 a bag. Crisps are really expensive in America. That's another thing I don't really understand. Salsa. But this is also the soda aisle. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go, this year's Voodoo. Six yes, thank you. That's uh, Major Melon, zero sugar. Ooh, zero sugar. They've got Spark if you want Spark. They don't do the flavours I used to like best, like Pitch Black and um, uh, Barja Blast anymore, that I can find. That's a shame. So the, cash, the, um, the bagger, not the cashier, the bagger was... Uh, pumpkins, okay. The bag I said um, of Reagan's Rainbow Stitch shirt. Is that representing the LGBT community? Yes. Are you part of the LGBT community? Yes. Have you heard of Elton John? Yeah. Because like, he's gay as well, is he really? Didn't know. Brilliant. Anyway, I bought some Dream World Limited Edition Coke, Dream Flavoured. Yeah, I'm interested. Okay, Dream Flavoured Coke. That is really good. I've no idea what that flavour is, but I like it. Oh, I hope we can get hold of this in the UK. It's kind of bubble gum. That is so good. Do you like it though? Yeah, it's weird. And we play another game of will the 56 ever turn up? One was due about 10 minutes ago. At least there's a bench and a shelter at this bus stop. I found a live tracker for the bus. Right. 
The next one is still 20 minutes away. We've been here for the best part of an hour. I thought first Essex was bad, but this is just something else. We are on our way back to Disney World on Link 56. I don't know how locals rely on these buses. We were at that bus stop for well over an hour. Terrible service. I mean, you know, at Disney you go, oh, it's 20 minutes to a bus, that's really annoying. And then you realise once you're off property, just how bad a bus service can be. When it comes, it's great. Like, the drivers are great, they're friendly, they're helpful. They just don't come. Right, through security at TTC, the same as getting into all the parks, got to go through the scanner and all the bag checks and everything. And the Epcot monorail, is running. We're going to go to Epcot and River's asleep now so they're going to miss the monorail which is um, a shame really because they were so excited about it but we're not going to hang around until they wake up so we're going back to Epcot on the monorail and then probably bus back to the resort to dump all this shopping that we bought and then we've got to get over to Disney Springs which we were planning on doing early afternoon but that took far too long going off property so um, Unless you are driving or getting taxis, uh, if you're staying on property, going off property is, is really a lot of hassle and Disney make it that way on purpose, but Lynx bus not being able to run a decent service doesn't help. I wouldn't bother. In the room, shopping dumped, nappies changed, or a nappy changed because we was asleep. <sighs> Hat collected, and now back out to Disney Springs. This is supposed to be our rest day, it's been far from restful. Probably the most stressful day of the trip. But what are you going to do? We're going to Disney Springs, we're going to go to World of Disney. There's a hundred dollar gift card that you get with your Disney booking, so we'll go and use that and buy a load of merch and then see if we can find something to eat over there i don't know actually it might come back should we come back let's yeah let's just come back so we'll be eating in the food court here at all star again and then we'll see how the evening's looking and if it's not too uh unpleasant out there maybe we'll go swimming in the pools here at the resort have a nice relaxing evening that would be nice wouldn't it after the day we've had we're at the Disney springs bus stop at all star music we've been here for some time because two buses have now gone through uh, without enough space on them because Disney run them to all the resorts so they fill up at sports and then they get here and you can't get the scooter on so that's not very good and today has been an awful day for buses you know and we've been sat here again no shelter really because we have to stand over here so that we're visible to the bus driver so the, that one said he's going to call another bus and get one to um, to come in and get us, but we'll see what happens. Today was supposed to be the easy day. The bus we came on is now Cronk. Cronk. We are here at Disney Springs now. After spending all day waiting for buses, we're about five hours behind where we wanted to be, if not more. But we are here. We're going to go to World of Disney and then go back to the resort. I don't know how long we're going to spend at the Springs today. It's probably going to be pretty busy for Saturday evening. So this is kind of the posh bit of Disney Springs with all the fancy shops. But we're not going to be going in. We found a fountain. Last time we were at Springs we went the other way and went to Chicken Guy. This time we're going down here. It's another big shop. This is the biggest Disney shop. And we're going to see there are some things that I know we need to get. We've got to get some gifts for some people. So let's go shopping. It's busy in here. And the Halloween 
section there is a set of ears that I need to get for Nova over there. Goofy hat. We're getting River a hat. This is a bucket hat with a chin strap. Because they keep throwing their hat on the floor and it's really annoying. Also, more Louisa merch. More Louisa merch, yes, thank you. Reagan looks good in any hat though. Doesn't matter what hat. It's really busy in here and I think that's what River's having a meltdown about. But we got to come here. We were supposed to be here earlier in the day when it wasn't quite so busy, but you know, you saw what happened, so we're here now. It's the only time probably that we're going to be able to come here. Fried shirt, yeah, because um, reports suggest there's going to be a hurricane hitting later this coming week, so we want to maximise our time in the parks, so we're using this off day to come to Springs. We're probably not going to be able to come to Springs again now. Oh, what a stressful experience. Been around the shop, looked at all the cool stuff in here. There's some stuff in um, some other shops that I can't find in here, so we'll have to grab some more merch. So I'm gonna go out. Reagan's just paying for the things we have got. Uh, the kids, the kids are struggling to handle it. I think it's over me and Reagan, to be honest. Very, very busy. I'm really tired too. Today's been hard. It's supposed to be our peaceful, restful, middle of the trip break day and it's in the most stressful day of the trip oh it's not over yet <laughs> okay very quick merch haul we've got an expensive bag there's no light here is there what are let's do it from this side an expensive bag there we go uh some ears that light up uh, mickey and minnie in their 50th anniversary get up some ears for Nova, a hoodie, which we'll share, 50th anniversary, stuff, is there anything else in there? The hat that we got for River with the chin strap, that's it, that's, all that's it, that's what we got from the world of Disney and that cost $305, but we had a $100 gift card so it's fine. So now we're going down for dinner here at the resort. And hopefully we'll have time to go in the pool later on. It closes at 10, it's now nearly 8, so hopefully we'll get an hour in there. River, are you going to eat that pasta? No. Oh. Ow. Well, we did yesterday. You got chips? There, loads of pasta yesterday, you don't want any today. You're not hungry. I've got um, nuggets and chips, or chicken strips and chips rather. And a cherry coke. Don't want anything complicated just something I know I can eat easily I'm, I'm so stressed after today I don't know if we're gonna go in the pool I'm, I want to and I know Reagan really wants to as well but she's stressed as well after today's breaking point and it's difficult coming to Florida with kids fine when things work but when things go wrong like today with those buses just not turning up and then the bus not being able to get us on to springs it all adds up and builds and builds and builds and then with the stress of looking after the children on top of that, it becomes very, very difficult. Coming on holiday with kids is always going to be a challenge, and sometimes it just takes it out of you. Today was supposed to be our day to recuperate from the stress of taking the kids to the theme parks over the last week, and it hasn't worked out that way. We're still stressed, but um, it is what it is. And now we've got to rush through the theme parks for the next couple of days in case this supposed tropical storm slash hurricane does hit here. It's, the track's gone slightly further west now, so it doesn't look like it's gonna actually make landfall on Florida, but we're probably still gonna get some of the, um, you know, the, the storm over Orlando. So we'll see what happens later in the week, but um, I was hoping we'd have a bit of a restful day today and that didn't happen. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my food now. Uh, there's probably background noise, because um, Timon and Pumba's on. We didn't go swimming, we came back to the room, um, the kids are too tired, Reagan's too tired and I'm too tired. Today was so much more stressful than we were hoping, so uh, we are calling it there. Um, we're not even going to have time to go do the washing, which we wanted to do today, so that's going to have to wait till tomorrow as well. Oh, what a day, right, well tomorrow we are at Epcot again, I hope you'll join me for that one. We've got some cool stuff planned, um, hopefully going to get on Ratatouille. Zorin is definitely a must do for tomorrow and probably try Guardians of the Galaxy again but join us see how it goes and what happens and tomorrow evening I think that's Robin shouting they're sorting their pins out look they've got they've been doing pin trading oh there we go look a goofy hat a goofy hat yeah <laughs>
Uh, so. Oh, I don't know. Right, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get in the resort pool here um, tomorrow after we get back from Epcot. We're not going to stay for Harmonious, so we're going to try and get away a little bit early to beat the rush and get back to the resort. So we should have the evening, as long as the weather is agreeable. Um, and this hurricane hasn't hit by then. It's not due to hit over here till about Wednesday or Thursday. And it looks like it's tracked even further west now, so... Hopefully it'll just go over there and not hit Florida at all, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, by the time you're watching this, it will have already been and gone, obviously. It'll be weeks down the line from when I'm actually filming this. Um, but oh, I've rambled enough. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's a bit of a weird one in, in the middle of the series. We're back to theme park content tomorrow. Uh, or the next video, which will come out in, I don't even know when, a few days. I haven't got a release schedule. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.